let's talk about screenshot testing. Screenshot testing is a feature that Lamb test provides which allows you to capture 25 screenshots on different OS browser as well as devices. On Lambda test, you can simply come on the screenshot testing tab, enter in the URL of which you want to capture the screenshot, select the operating system and browser under which you want the screenshots to be captured. I'll select a few in random from both devices as well as desktops and a few devices. And once you have made your selection, that is, you can see here, I have seven uh, combinations selected, three desktops, four devices, you simply click on capture. As soon as you click on capture, it reverts you to a different screen where the screenshots are process has started. In the meantime, it's capturing the screenshots. I'll also like you to go through the rest of the features. Lambda test also provides you capability to create three lists of 25 each. So let's say in your organization, you have most commonly used uh, operating system and browsers based on your uh, customer data. So you can create a list according to the data that you've captured and create three separate lists 25 each and use those lists to capture the screenshots accordingly. Screenshot testing, you can also schedule it based on your deployments or changes that are being happened on your web application. So you can schedule these screenshots based on weekly, monthly or daily and whenever you ex execute these scheduled screenshots, you'll automatically get an email post the screenshot completion on the selected OS browser combinations. You can also capture screenshot of website which is behind a basic authentication. That is, you just simply need to enter in the username and password of the uh, website that has a basic auth. Simply click on save, enter the URL of which you want to capture the screenshot and click on capture. Also, if you have a web page that is behind a login and you want to capture the screenshot of the um, first page after login, that also is possible by creating a login profile on Lambda test. Lambda test allows by default for you to create five different login profiles and how you can create a login profile is, I simply edit this one. So here in this case, you need to enter in the URL of the login page. In the next page, you need to enter in the locators of the elements that is the email, the password, as well as the button on your uh, screen. And then in the next page, you need to enter the credentials and save it with any name that you would like. Once you save this, you simply need to go to login, select the profile that you want to use and enter in the URL of the page that you want to capture the screenshot of. Once that's done, it will automatically capture the screenshot of this page and how that does is, as soon as you click on capture, it first logs you in using the profile that you have saved and then travels to this page that you have or this URL that you have put here and then starts the screenshot process. Then in the settings, you also have a few options where if you want the quality of the screenshot as original or compressed, you can do that. For mobile, if you want portrait or landscape, you can do that. Then there are a few websites which might take a few seconds to load up. And if the screenshot process starts before the web page loads up, the screenshot might not be correct. So for those cases, you have an option to use the defer time. What it does is basically it stops the screenshot process for the selected time and only starts it after the time that you've given here. You can also choose between different resolutions for Mac and Windows. And here also you have an option for default location. So let's say if the application that you're currently testing, you have you want to test it and you want to capture the screenshot of that application from a different uh, country or region, you can simply select the country from where you want to capture the screenshots and you can add it here. And also, you have an option to get the email on completion. That is, for every screenshot that you execute, if you want an email to be auto-generated and send you the screenshot results, you can get that as well. So here, let's go to the recent tab and go here. And as you can see, 
the screenshots are getting captured and I'll open one of them for you. So this is how the Keys website would look on an iPhone 13 Pro Max iOS 15. Similarly, all the other websites or your websites based on how responsive they are, they'll get a full page screenshot of the website. So these are all the uh, screenshots that I had captured today. And in the recent step, you'll also get all of the screenshots that you have captured uh, in the past. And also, if you go into the recent step and open up any of the screenshots, you also have an option to directly download them as PDFs, a zip file, share those screenshots, etc. I hope you were able to understand how screenshot testing works. Please feel free to reach out to Lambda Test if you have any questions.